Let's talk about these uh, sweeping measures to try and address the ongoing crisis and deepening crisis that we've seen in the Chinese property market. Does this change materially your outlook for property bonds? Um, I think certainly the news over the weekend about the PBOC and CBRRC uh, on the various measures to support the market is going to be welcomed uh, by, by the high-yield um, Asian bond market. Um, there is also uh, the, uh, the revelation that they actually have uh, taken a much more pragmatic approach, uh, both in terms of this property-related measure, uh, but also in terms of the zero-COVID uh, policy. Uh, we have seen adjustment uh, for that to be much more precise, to have less disruption, uh, and similarly, um, the kind of thinking is um, being revealed uh, in, in these kind of property um, measures that, that got announced. Um, so we are um, looking at this uh, with a more favorable uh, outlook. There are still a lot of risk, uh, but it seems like some of the tail risk uh, has been clipped uh, with um, at least a uh, more supportive measure and, and this kind of more pragmatic, uh, pragmatic thinking now. The question is whether it's going to be enough, right? Taking a look at these Bloomberg intelligence numbers, we're looking at a $2 trillion yuan property loan gap. So does that indicate you, to you that this perhaps is just a start, that we're going to need bigger bailouts to restore confidence? Um, there is kind of these uh, calculations that, that we have made, and, and you're right, there's still a pretty significant gap. Um, the question is whether there will be more uh, policies getting rolled out. Uh, typically, they come in a com combination uh, rather than just one shot. Uh, now, we have been disappointed uh, all year long uh, where things have been more piecemeal and fragmented uh, and hasn't really been able uh, to, uh, to arrest uh, the decline. Uh, so from the kind of funding side uh, in, in terms of these uh, new measures, uh, that should help uh, alleviate some of that, at least for the healthier uh, developer. Uh, more explicit support in terms of uh, to the private uh, developer. But there has been such a large uh, amount of default. I think there is still a lot of skepticism uh, by the market um, that the bonds could actually drop uh, to, uh, to a default state uh, so quickly. So I think the market will only go up kind of in a bumpy manner. Uh, but certainly some repricing already have been made uh, last week. And I think today certainly will open quite strongly. And the uncertainty continues, as you say, given that we continue to see the price pressures across the property sector, right? This chart on the Bloomberg just showing the China home price tracker. 54 cities have seen prices decline in September. We are expecting the latest data for October this week. When you look at the broader economy in China, how supportive will this sweeping package be in not only supporting the property sector, but the broader economy, given how big real estate is? Um, the uh, real estate, you know, by some measure, could be 20 to 30 percent uh, through indirect, direct and indirect uh, impact. So there will be a multiplier effect if this were to take hold. Uh, but I think the issue still remains with the home buyer. Uh, there has been uh, income uh, from household being weakened uh, from the weak growth overall this year and zero COVID policy, uh, with also zero COVID uh, being adjusted um, to, to a less disrupted state. Um, that would also be coming back, uh, albeit uh, perhaps, again, you know, bumpy and, and maybe slowly uh, initially. Uh, so the impact to actually buying a big ticket uh, like housing uh, would also be, uh, be a gradual uh, process. So you have to look through, the, like the property developer, uh, whether mm. uh, they can weather uh, mm. these kind of, um, kind of period in between. Uh, and there are some support, uh, perhaps through guaranteed, pro uh, guaranteed bond program uh, that can help. Uh, tied the gap. But this, you know, when the home uh, kind of transaction volume, particularly for new houses, uh, can resume, uh, that's sort of the question we want to handicap. Uh, and we'll be talking to many of these companies very closely uh, to see where they stand.